Sarah and Laura. Wedgwelly. You left Mike looking after the shop. Yes, Mike's back in Hull. We get and to do all the good stuff. You get to the good stuff. Good stuff. Now, you got your figures a bit mixed up in the den, didn't you? Yeah, we um, really undersold ourselves in the den. Uh, I'd like to say I saw through that <laughs> and uh, had the confidence to make you an offer. Foundation for a business, I just think a lot of hard work, um, loads of passion and drive. you just got to live and breathe it. It's, you know, long hours and, yeah, just keep at it. And, and don't let other people around you as well that think you're crazy for coming up with a welly idea or any, any idea at all. Um, that includes your teachers. Yeah. Everybody will think that you're crazy for, for just having a go, but just be different to them and just, you know, just keep going because you will get there if you've got the drive. And I think as long as you've got the drive, then that's a, a really good foundation to start with. Wellington Boots, it must be a stupid idea. You can't stop your good job selling Wellington Boots, could you? We've had that a lot. You do get a lot of people around you who um, try to persuade you from going into business and they want you to be more mainstream and there's nothing wrong with that but um, business is not for everybody. I would say one of the personal qualities I feel that you have to have going into business is to not be afraid of trying new things and not be afraid of failing because you are going to fail at some things. You've just got to dust yourself off, get back up again and keep going. When you start your own business or it's something that you really want to do, it's really imperative that you surround yourself with knowledgeable people and you know, just get as much information as you can before you start on it because you, you know, you're going to fail at things and it's, it's just a really big help if you can get a lot of advice as soon as possible before you, uh, you know, throw a bit of effort and a bit of money into it. So it's good. It's, a, it's good to inspire kids. It only takes one moment in your life for something to inspire you. And, uh, you know, if coming to something like this is, you know, is going to do that, then that's fantastic. Um, but definitely, I think, you know, a bit of inspiration and, and listening to what other people have to say, yeah, it's good. It would have inspired me at that age. So. When I was growing up, I had several ideas about what career I wanted to go into. Um, so having the opportunity to come here and inspire school children and share my story with them, I think that's really important. I definitely think if children are going to be inspired, they need to be inspired by people who are out there and doing this already and they also need the academic side as well if you're going to be successful in business you need to know about some of the core principles of business um, so this degree program is absolutely um, fantastic because it embeds both the knowledge and also the practical skills that they would learn if they're in business as well Savile is an incredible facility you've got here because to have this level of facility in an auditorium that's so clear, precise, no pillars, it's so open that you can actually practically reach everybody is amazing.